So for a long time, I've always asked myself, do I have what it takes to actually sit for the OSCP exam? Am I actually worth? And uh, if not, what do I have to do to get ready to get actually uh, certified? Hello and welcome back to IT Security Labs. And in this video, I'm going to share with you how I've decided that I finally need to start pursuing the OSCP. I'll share with you my thought process in getting to this point, share with you my fears about getting uh, into this journey, what I plan on doing, and also uh, hope to reach out to you if you have any resources or something that I can use uh, to make sure that this journey is easy. I also intend to create a study group where uh, I can hang out with uh, like-minded people. We can meet via Google uh, Hangouts every Tuesday or another day that works. So we can all meet up and share ideas and practice. I mean, we also accept any mentors that want to join us as we practice and also get ready for the Office of Security Certified Professional Exam. So how did I get to this point? First thing is the OSCP is a highly respected certification, mostly because this is not a certification that you can just memorize and get. This is a certification that you have to sit and do a hands-on exam. You get 24 hours a network with machines and you have to go and exploit machines, record everything that you are doing and write a report that's actually proper and is fit for the real world. So this is why this is so appealing to me. It's definitely difficult from what I hear from everybody else. So that's why I've been a little hesitant. Earlier this year, I decided that I was going to go for the CISSP and it was a wonderful experience. I went for the CISSP and uh, a month and a half ago, I passed the exam and I got certified. It was definitely hard. And taking the CISSP reminded me that I really, really enjoy more of the technical stuff than uh, the material that I uh, was actually asked to digest here. It's a great exam. It's just that it wasn't technical for me and that actually even put more pressure on me to actually go and uh, decide that I want to take the OSCP in the next few months. So why the OSCP? Like I said, it's highly respected, it's hands-on, it's challenging, and I love to be challenged, so that's why I need to take this exam. In addition to that, there's higher returns. This certification proves to future employers that I'm actually somebody who can take on a challenge, complete it, and I actually know uh, different methodologies and also different tools to actually perform a successful pen test. So this is a certification that uh, not only am I doing it for myself, but I'm also doing it for my professional career, make sure that it actually works. But above all, I think this will be very fun. So that's why. What are my fears? I am very, very scared that I might not know enough Linux to pass. I, right now, I'm a Linux admin and network admin, and I do a lot of security uh, hardening on systems. So I've been, I spend a lot of time in the Linux command line. Today alone, I spend about six hours in the Linux command line. So I know my way around it, but I think there's more that I can learn. So that's what I'm very concerned about. I intend to spend a lot of time doing hands-on uh, hacking on these machines from Hack the Box. So this is the list that I'll be going through. And I'm hoping that um, by going through every single machine here, with minimal help, I don't intend to ask a lot of questions from forums. I want to spend time doing my own research, coming up with my own ways to actually uh, pawn these machines. So this is my grand scheme. If I can go through all these machines uh, one by one, doing my own research, coming up with my own workflow, I think that will be great. If you have any uh, machines from Vaughn Hub or any other places that are also helpful, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, um, this is my first plan. Second one is I'm going to buy a few uh, books. Is uh, There's a few books that I'll be purchasing from Amazon, but I also want to hear your suggestions as well. So if you have any books that you think would be helpful, but I know that the Hackers Playbook is one of them as well that I'll be purchasing, that I'll be going through, that'll be awesome. 
I'll be making some videos on some of these machines. Obviously, not all of them because it takes too too long and a lot of editing. But uh, if I learn something that I think would be very helpful for me to share with you at the same time, uh, reinforce that knowledge to myself. I'll be starting a new series on my channel where I'll be sharing with you uh, what I've been learning, my methodologies and everything that I'm actually uh, working on. So stay tuned and subscribe and like my videos. Actually, if you uh, want to see more from me, otherwise, uh, let me know in the comments if you want to join my study group as well. Then um, I found this nice write up and I think it's great. So I'm just going to uh, follow some of his advice as well. This is someone who passed the OSCP and um, it's a wonderful guide. I think it's a good starting point. There's a lot of them, but this one sounded to me like something that I can actually do. So I'll be following most of what they're saying here. They even mentioned uh, the cyber mentor. So I'll be doing a lot of buffer overflows. And in addition to that, I'll be creating my own videos as well, uh, just to reinforce that knowledge to myself. Because if I can teach you about buffer overflows, that also helps me learn it even more. So that's what I'll be doing as well. Other than that, um, I'm going to be spending my own money on this. So I am going to try to have as much fun as possible to learn as much as I can and spend as much time in the labs and enjoy the process. Because at the end of the day, if you don't enjoy what you're doing, I don't think uh, you'll be very successful. And I'm trying to keep a positive mind, even though I'm a little terrified of this exam. So if you have any words of encouragement, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, guys, that's it for today. Expect more content about the OSCP from me. And also, I intend to keep more of these videos about uh, monitoring your systems coming. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video.